Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, guys, so a couple NFL plays coming up for you guys. Um, we are done Saturday's plays for free picks, so I can give you a quick recap there. Uh, still ongoing in Masterclass. Um, one and one. Uh, one and one, I'll say a disappointing one and one. Um, Virginia Tech, Virginia, I, I thought we were cruising to an over in that game. Um, it seems like the last few weeks, starting with Alabama a couple weeks ago and then last week in the NFL, and now this week, we've had these games where we've had like just, you know, hey, they're way, way above pace, you know, 80, upwards of 90% chance to cover, and they just shut it down. They stop scoring. So it's disappointing. It is what it is. Um, not much we can do about it. Just, again, long term, just always want to try to find value. Um do want to go over a master class game in a second, but just to uh, give you a heads up where we're at for Sunday. So I have two plays for you guys. Um, definitely not a busy Sunday. Not a busy Sunday. Um, I probably spent more time on this card than I than I have this year on anything. I don't think I've I don't think I've put this much time into a card. Um, you know, spent a lot of time yesterday. Uh, all of today, pretty much, um, you know, a few breaks here and there, but there's no sense. Like for me, sometimes guys, honestly, I know after going through it like three times, I'm not going to find any additional value, but I still do it. It's like, there has to be something out there. And I don't know, maybe it's pride. Maybe it's just a bit of stupidity on my part, but I keep looking. And ultimately at the end of the day, there is some really good value out there. Um, but just not a lot of it, okay? So the games that I have, I really like them. Um, I actually have three two-unit plays today. I got one coming up in free picks for you. I have three two-unit plays, um, one in soccer and two in football. But outside of that, I don't have a whole lot. I have, you know, four additional NFL plays, a couple of hockey plays. Um, that's it, okay? Pretty light card for the day. Uh, if there's something to be taken away from it, and maybe I should have taken my own advice a number of hours ago, um, you know, and not be like bouncing off the walls trying to find additional value, is that if there isn't value there, don't try and force it. Don't try and, you know, talk yourself into place. Um, you know, there's a lot of conflicting stuff out there. And I think that's what took so long today is I keep going back over the same things again and again and finding this really nice value that I think, wow, this is a good pick and this lines up and that lines up. But then there's two or three things on the other side that, you know, it, it just makes it a no play. And that's ultimately where I ended up. So um, it is what it is. A little bit lighter card, but the games we do have are high value. Now, days like this, I love them personally. It concerns me. Uh, for some people in terms of their bankroll management, especially, you know, in masterclass, I know the majority of people in masterclass are, they're spot on at this point, but we still have some people that haven't wrapped their heads around bankroll management. On a day where you have three, two unit plays, sometimes you can, you know, even if you have a bad day there, you can still get out of it with higher volume when you're finding good value because, you know, law of averages typically evens out. There's nothing in the law of average say when you have a short card and you can lose two or all three of your two unit plays um, that there's going to be anything to give you any reprieve on that day. That's why, again, the two things, bankroll management and number two, thinking about sports in a long term, um, long term and not just short term. And I know that's tough for people. And, that, and that's ultimately, look, it's not for everybody. This this will not be for everyone. Um, that's the reality of the situation. Some people just cannot do it. They can't bring themselves to manage their bankrolls and they can't bring themselves to try to remove enough of the emotion that they can think about things from a long-term basis. And, you know, if, if everyone could just follow bankroll management, everyone could, you know, pick winners at 54, 56% and everyone could, um, you know, think long-term, there wouldn't be sports betting in the world. Vegas would be done. They would be like, no, we can't do this anymore. Come enjoy our roulette tables. Um, blackjack, free cocktails, no sports betting. So, you know, really what keeps me going in this business and keeps me getting paid every year is the fact that people don't follow. But we don't want that. We want people to follow to a T. Um, so, you know, days like today, 
they concern me a little bit to be honest but it is what it is you guys are grown-ass men or ladies and uh you can do whatever you want so anyways i have a couple plays for you guys today uh and again, uh, I do have a two unit play and a one unit play in free picks. In Masterclass, two additional two unit plays, a soccer two unit play, and another football two unit play. Um, I have a, a teaser, a player prop, and I have three NHL bets as well. Um, I do very quickly before we go in, I just want to talk about yesterday, guys. We had a two unit play because sometimes I forget to mention it. We had a two unit play. Um, and we lost in soccer yesterday. We had uh, Aston Villa and Crystal Palace under two and a half. Um, there was they it was one nothing in the 85th minute, and they scored. It was two nothing then at that point. Um, to be perfectly honest, even at two nothing, although I was disappointed to see that goal because it that goal I, they score one more and we lose right. I was never really concerned. It was such a low shooting game. I think at that point they had four shots on net and two of them just happened to go in. So I wasn't really concerned. Now the leads are and you know, will Crystal Palace press? Maybe, but I doubt it. Anyways, um, hoping for just a couple minutes of injury time. They ended up putting six minutes of injury time up there, which um not happy about that. Obviously we want that quick whistle and game over. Um, Crystal Palace scored in the 95th minute. So, yeah, that's, that's a tough way to lose. Um, very, very tough way to lose. And, hey, that's a four-unit swing to start your day. So, you know, needless to say, it was it was a disappointing morning. Um, I, I have not, I can tell you this, I, I watched a little bit of soccer today. I have not watched a second, not one second of football today, Um I've been, you know, getting some updates here and there. I know where we're at. I'm getting some updates. Um, I've just been just been pouring through NFL and, you know, enjoying myself, to be perfectly honest with you. Just nice, you know, relaxing day going through these games. Well, it was relaxing until, you know, going through this stuff for the third and fourth time. Um, anyways, onward and upward. Um, so, yeah, two unit play, two different two unit plays in Masterclass, and I have one for you. If you are interested in Masterclass, BenderWins.com, guys, it's $99 a month, gets you my full card every single day, plus all the Masterclass educational videos. Um, but, and here's the but, okay? And I'm probably the only guy out there on the internet who has, like, you know, a full card available for sale that tells people this. Do not join Masterclass if you are not ready mentally and emotionally to be involved in masterclass okay masterclass is a higher volume not so much today but it's higher volume it requires bankroll management it requires discipline and it requires you to basically you know follow the rules if you want to succeed and um yeah that that's that's basically it okay so yeah i, I know a lot of people will do anything to get people to sign up I would rather have you not sign up if you're not ready to do it or don't want to do it or, you know, plan to chase or whatever, whatever thing that you're planning on doing that's not going to help you. Um, if you follow what I like, Masterclass this year, guys, we're up over 80 units, okay? Um, but you got to, you you'd have to follow bankroll management, okay? Um, and have some discipline along the way or else, you know, you're probably out of the game at this point. So anyways, BenderWins.com if you're interested and ready and willing and able to follow along. Uh, starting off with a one unit play here. Uh, we are going to go with the Chargers and Denver under 47. One unit play, Chargers and Denver under 47. Second play, we are going to go with the Rams and Green Bay under 47. Two unit play. Okay, two unit play, Rams and Green Bay under 47. I got four systems on this game. Um, nice, cold, windy November day at Lambeau Field. Uh, total above 45 points. You definitely expect this game to go under better than 60% of the time. And that's kind of our threshold for two units. Now, when this particular game, I do say better than 60% of the time. Um Again, there's a lot of variables in sports and you always have to factor in a little bit of a margin of error, okay? And again, margin of error can go your way or can go against you. And oftentimes when I'm giving out a two-unit play, uh, you know, I still want a little bit of a margin of error and I do believe we have it in this game. So, I mean, I would say 
on the worst case scenario, my capping is like so far off and I overlooked this, I overlooked that, which I didn't because I've been through this stuff so many times. On a worst case scenario, this is the 58% came. But I believe it's in the, you know, probably 63 up to 65%, which is very, very strong. That's why it's a two unit play. Um, I don't give out two unit plays lightly. We do have three of them today. Um, you know, I, I know my bankroll management is locked down. I've been doing this so long. Um, it always does concern me about others, but people are going to do what people are going to do, right? So uh, I know some people hear two unit play. I say two unit play and they hear 10 unit play. That's exciting, right? 40% of my bankroll, off I go, right? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like, here's like, here's a roadmap to success that I followed and I learned from all these mistakes and I'm like, oh, don't do this and don't do that because Bender was an idiot and made all those mistakes himself when he was younger. So just follow along and I don't understand why people don't. It, it's 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 mind boggling and frustrating. It's like, I have a fucking $250,000 car sitting in my driveway. I have four other cars, um, nice house, businesses, all this stuff. It's like, I'm gonna show you how to do it and people still won't listen to me. It's mind boggling, rant over. I didn't, I didn't plan on doing that. That just came out. Anyways, that's it for us today. Follow Bankroll Management. If you're interested in Masterclass, BenderWins.com. It's $99 a month. That's it for us today. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day and bye for now.